They finally did it. They listened to the semi-massive outcry. There is a hard mode, but that's not all. So hey everyone, this is totally out of the blue. They didn't announce it before, they just dropped it. And Bandai Namco haven't even officially announced this at time of recording. It's just on the PlayStation 4 already. You can it, you can just download the patch. It's patch 1.0.3 for Nino Kuni 2, and here's what's in it. There is new difficulty modes, hard and expert have been added, and you can change that at any time just in the options menu. So now there's easy, hard and expert. This is by far the most requested option to be put in the game. I never had a problem with the difficulty at all. In fact, I made two videos about that, but a lot of people really didn't like that it was easy. Um, or at least the main stuff was too easy. You know, there was plenty of challenge in optional content, but the main stuff was too easy for some people. This should fix that up. Now, as part of this, also the maximum quality for item drops has been expanded for the harder difficulty modes. So you can actually get new items that will drop with two skills rather than one now. And there's a, some other stuff. There's also increased chances of rare drops when playing on higher difficulties as well. So this is a lot like the Tales system of, of some of the older games where you would get better quality stuff if you upped your difficulty. This isn't the only thing that was added though, there were also a myriad of bug fixes and performance optimizations of course, but in addition to that there are new equipment skills that have been added, rare accessories with a second slot skill have been added, and various other game balance issues. So hopefully that means that the difficulty should no longer be a problem for anybody that had a problem with it before. If you dropped it earlier on and you still have it around, this might be the perfect time to pick it back up because I really do think it's a tremendously good game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, just in case you guys weren't aware, I recently did a interview with the voice of Roland from the game, Jared Zeus. So you can check out that. He's super passionate and it's super insightful about the game, uh, especially the way the voice acting is done. You know how it, there's not a whole lot of it and it's it's only really voiced in cuts, in major cutscenes and other stuff isn't. We got some insight into the uh, development process there, so it was kind of cool. Check that out. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.